Can you kick in a real life fight? That is one of the questions I've been asked uh, many a time by many a people because I've done many martial arts where you kick. And there's a long and short version of that answer. And I'm just gonna use this video to kind of give you that. For those of you that just want the answer, I'm not gonna make you watch the whole video if you don't want to. Um, if you think you can't kick in a fight, then you can't. If you think you can kick in a fight, then you can. And I'm gonna use the rest of this video to kind of explain why that's the case and use my 22 years of martial arts experience to kind of get my opinion out there and answer the questions that some of you may have. So let's get started. Mm. This is good. Just like brown sugar brown tea, brown sugar boba tea, yeah. Or brown sugar milk tea, oh, man. It's good though. What's up guys, welcome to the Modern Ninja channel. Now, um, I've been asked this question a lot because it more references head kicks. Can you kick someone in the head effectively in a real life fight or self-defense situation? Um, and my answer is yes or no, depending on what your perspective is. And here's why. Um, kicks are one of those things that are innately more difficult to learn. They require technique, flexibility, they require um, a lot of different things in order for you to make it actually work, right? The targeting, timing, speed, all those things that are not easy. And realistically, if someone, for example, like say Joe, for example, takes a random self-defense course um, and has never done martial arts really, but he takes a self-defense class, those self-defense instructors will likely say, do not try and kick that part, your target in the head. Do not try and kick your attacker in the head. Um, because more than likely, Joe will be taking that self-defense course and just that self-defense course. Meaning, he's gonna spend maybe you know, a couple hours, maybe a couple days training and that's it meaning he doesn't have the ability to physically kick someone in the head well. Either he can get his leg up there, but he might slip and fall. He might um, risk opening himself up. He might be too slow. He might, not, might be off on his timing and get, get taken because kicking innately means that you're standing on one leg at a minimum. And so that always opens up the possibility for messing up your kick, messing up the fight, and falling and giving yourself, or giving your opponent a opening, right? And that's 100% true. However, the, the fact starts to change once you get experience. For example, I've been doing um, a Tong Sudo for the longest amount of time after all of the arts that I've trained. I've trained several, but Tong Sudo has been the one I've trained the longest, and it is a kicking art. Uh, I have also trained Taekwondo, which is also a kicking art. And one thing that comes with that training is literal years of experience in kicking. I know that I can confidently kick someone at head height without opening up, timing being on point, uh, without falling or tripping up myself, falling or getting off balance or anything like that because I spent time training it. And so for if like for those of you that actually want to know if you can and if it ever is smart to kick someone in the head absolutely you absolutely can kick people in the head if you've trained it before and that's kind of the key that a lot of people don't get is that it requires you to have training it's not easy it's just like for example uh nunchucks or or sword right well i have a sword here so i'll talk about a sword a katana is a great weapon if you know how to use it. However, if you don't, you could hurt yourself trying to use it, and that's not ideal. Um, same with like nunchucks, for example. If you use nunchucks and can swing around nunchucks and you've practiced hard with nunchucks, then sure, you could probably use them in a fight very successfully. Uh, and I've gone on record as saying they're one of the least practical weapons out there. And I stand by that. But my point is, if you train with it, you can use it. Absolutely. However, if, you're, if you've never touched a set of nunchucks before, 
almost guarantee that if you try to use it in a fight, you will hit yourself. It's almost a guarantee because that's just how it works. It requires a certain set of skills that if you don't have, it's not worth the risk in using. And kicking's the same way. You can, I can kick above my head. I can do spinning kicks. I can do jumping kicks confidently because of years of practice. And there's just some people who haven't put in that time. And if you haven't, that's fine. You can decide to train it if you want to. You can decide not to train it if you don't want to. But you shouldn't be. You shouldn't throw it in a fight in a real life situation if you aren't completely ready. And that's that's really what that question breaks down to: is have you trained it? And so, if anyone ever tells you you shouldn't throw a kick to the head in real life, the likelihood is that they can't and they assume that you can't and that's fair but if they say it's impossible they are wrong because i promise you (laughs) i promise you it's possible you can absolutely throw kicks to the head successfully but let me know what you guys think down in the comments if you think i'm right if you think i'm missing something have you ever thrown a kick in a uh, real life self-defense situation or or combat situation where you've actually actually like you know throw hands (laughs) so to speak Let me know down in the comments and consider, you know, liking this video in general and letting me know what other questions you would like me to talk about or what other topics you would like me to talk about. There are so many when it comes to martial arts and I really just like talking about martial arts. It's it's one of my favorite things in the world. Truly is. It really is. Like a lot of people say it's one of my favorite things. It really is. Spent the last 22 years um, (laughs) doing martial arts. So. I wouldn't want to be doing anything else. So yeah, if there's something else topic-wise you would like me to sit down and talk to you about in this style of video that's a little bit more low-key, a little more easy going, and we could just talk about it, then let me know. But until next time, my name's DJ Moore, this is The Modern Ninja, and I'm out. Oh man, yeah. It really is a good, a good drink. Brown sugar tea, or brown sugar milk tea, Endorsed by the modern ninja. <laughs> Be the modern ninja, but left off. Just know I'm dangerous. Baby, perfect. I'm on that Bruce Lee flow like water, state of mind. Got me going farther than I ever thought I could have been. Gotta grab a sheet of paper as you know I got the pin. Anybody want to smoke your whole career? Be looking grim. I hit flashing chains while your boy been in the gym. Watch me spitting flames while the frogs try to.